Hi there, Shanda. I was just thinking about you because you were the winner of, I think it was the peach cards. So I'm trying to get caught up on all my mailings and uh, photographing and blog posts. It's been a little crazy since I came home from vacation two weeks ago. I, um, well, it's less than two weeks, I guess. Um, I've gotten out, let's see, three classes to go. Um, the June In Color Club and what else? There was something else. Oh, the cards and bingo virtual night. So um, it's been a little crazy just trying to get all that together, but it's a good crazy when um, I'm busy with work. So um, today I'm going to show you a fun fold card. And I'm using products from the Retiring Mini Catalog, so I'll show you that in just a moment. Um, but I wanted to let you know about my latest class to go, which I announced, um, let's see, it would have been Thursday? Wednesday? It's only Friday. I don't know where the days go. They all kind of run together. <laughs> so, but my most recent class is the Pansy Petals Cards class. And with that class, you get the Pansy Patch Bundle, both the stamp set and the wonderful coordinating dies. You'll get a package of the new in-color um, jewels. So they're like rhinestones, but there's five different colors, one of each of the newest in-colors. Um, soft Succulent, Fresh Freesia, Evening Evergreen, Pale Papaya, and Polished Pink. And they also come in... Um, two sizes. So um, I think I'm on my third pack of those already. I just love them and they're super versatile. Um, the cards that you will make are, um, they go from kind of simple and elegant to kind of fancy and wow. So, but there's one And there's those. So you'll make, you'll get all the supplies to make eight cards to each of those four designs that I just showed you. And I am offering an extra little perk for anybody who purchases the um, full class, which includes the bundle. By Monday, you get a free package of dimensionals. So um, if I can help you placing that order, for the Pansy Petals class to go, please let me know. I did send the information out on a, in a newsletter email. Um, it's also on my blog, and I've also been posting it to uh, my Facebook page and VIP group. If you need more information on that or you can't find the information, just shoot me an email or a message and I'll send that information right off to you. Um, most of my classes are set up that when I um, price, the pricing of the card supplies typically is free, just an extra for um, purchasing the full class to go with the bundle, etc. The deadline to RSVP for the Pansy Petals class to go is Friday, June 18th. However, if you order by Monday, the 14th, you get that free pack of Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera around so we can get started on today's Fun Fold Friday demonstration. And while I'm doing that, I would appreciate it so, so, so much if you would share this video. So as I mentioned, today's Fun Fold project comes from um, or is made with products from the mini catalog, which retires at the end of this month. Uh, today, I'm using the Snail Mail Suite, which is just lots of fun. I love the fun, bright, cheerful colors of it. And it's just kind of got a whimsical feel to it. Um, and I like to use these just for Just Because cards or to say hello, to reach out to somebody and connect with somebody I haven't been in touch with maybe. 
Um, college students love them, all kinds of things. But um, they're just a lot of fun. I will point out that this entire suite is retiring. So if there is anything you want from this, I suggest you get it sooner rather than later because anything on the retiring list, that last chance list, is available while supplies last only, okay? And I will tell you, the deals are great. Normally, we would um, be charged $44 for the bundle, the stamp set and the dies, but if you buy them now and use the two individual item numbers, it will cost you $19 plus 15. So what is that? Um, 34. So that's even $10 off the bundle price, which is already discounted. So 34, a great value on that bundle. The paper is adorable. And then there's the twine and the resin hearts. And both the twine and the resin hearts are 50% off. These are great little embellishments. Twine I use a lot, not only on my cards, but if I'm wrapping little favors or gifts, tying off, something like that. All right, so are you ready to see today's fun fold card? Here's the big reveal. Okay. A lot of fun, very simple, fits in a standard envelope. The finished size is still four and a quarter by five and a half, which is what we typically make um, in most of the demonstrations. But it's just got this really fun, um, what should I call it? Zigzag fold or accordion fold with the different dimensions. So I'm going to show you how to make this right now. This is what it looks like from above. It doesn't really stand. Um, you could mount this right onto a regular card base if you like, so it has the fun fold plus the regular card base, but this is typically how I send it. Just, you know, uh, maybe send to my college student or one of my nieces, something like that, and I'll just put, you know, thinking of you today or wanted, to know, wanted you to know I love you. Just a quick little note or thought. So, <clears throat> let's put that there. So you're going to start with a base. It's just a single sheet. It's not a folded card. And this measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's basically one fourth of an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. So you could get four bases with that. Then I have a piece of cardstock and this measures five five and a quarter by four inches and I just chose um, a color you can see Bermuda Bay and red I just chose a color that coordinated with the uh, snail mail designer series paper I chose to use today I did go ahead and emboss mine, my color cardstock, um, just to give it a little more pizzazz, a little more interest. And I use the um, Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. Not sure how well you can see that up close, but it's to me it's sort of a go-to embossing folder because it's just versatile, I can use it with anything, but um, you know, there are hearts, there are flowers, there's all kinds of things, um, different embossing folders that you can use. Next, I have a piece of basic white cardstock, and this measures four and a quarter by nine inches, okay? Four and a quarter by nine inches and I'm going to score it four times. I'm going to start by scoring it at one inch. Then I'm going to score at two inches. Four inches. And six inches. Okay, 
So it's four and a quarter by nine inches long. And I've scored it at one, two, four, and six inches. Now I need my bone folder and I'm just going to burnish these. Yes, my bone folder is stained. I stained from me um, spreading refill ink on my ink pads. And they get a little dry and I need to refill them. It seems like the bone folder is the closest thing to, um, to grab. All right, so now I have this much done. Before I add my designer series paper, I'm going to add this little fun fold card base to my flat base. How many of you use this multi-purpose glue? I used to not use it as much and um, I just use that more and more and more. Number one, I like to use it because it has a little, um, it's a little forgiving if I don't get something real straight the first time. Um, I can slide it around or gently pull it up. But I love it because it lasts such a long time making it so economical, four bucks. And I can't even tell you how, how long one lasts, but you know um, how much stamping and card making I do and um, even doing some scrapbook pages. So I do use quite a bit. Now, I have chosen three different designer series papers. These all come from the Snail Mail DSP pack. And I just chose three that I think look together. Any of them would work, really. And keep in mind, you, you can mix and match between DSP packs or use some of the DSP, the six by six DSP that we have in the color families. I always like to have those on hand as well. And you can see how quickly and easily this fun fold card comes together. It's a great way to use up scraps. I'll, I've made a few more with, a um, few more of these fun folds with the snail mail designer series paper that I'll show you in a little bit because I'm down to small pieces. Um, so, I like to use up as much, you know how much I like designer series paper, and I like to use up as much of it as I can. Now these, you can see that we have um, awesome stamps in this set, but know that the die collection that coordinates with the snailed, uh, snailed it stamp set allows you to cut out some of the images like these on these two cards, some of the images from the designer series paper, which is a lot of fun. So that's what I've chosen to do today. So even though we have a stamp that looks just like this or this one, um, I've chosen to just die cut it from the snail mail designer series paper, because like I said, I'm just trying to um, use that up. And you know, the strange thing is, I cannot see comments again today. The last time they showed up after I closed out my Facebook Live, but it's strange that um, second Facebook Live in a row, I can't see your comments. So I feel bad if you're commenting or asking questions. Um, I promise that I will go back afterwards and take a look at the comments because like I said they did show up on the um, on the replay from Wednesday evening. Facebook is always changing things getting a little quirky at times but you know we just go with the flow. I'll put this little guy here. Now when you're adhering any of these pieces you want to be sure 
um, to be careful about where you're putting your adhesive. I'm using dimensionals, but if I would have it going over that fold, it's actually making a closure for my card and I don't want that. So just be cognizant of that when you're um, doing your adhering of these extra pieces to make sure you're putting the adhesives where you need it. So isn't that cute? Just a nice, simple hello card. What do you think? I think we could use some embellishments and I'm choosing to use the resin hearts embellishments that are part of the suite. I'm gonna close up my card to see exactly where I wanna put some of these. First of all, I think I'm gonna put a heart on this little envelope right over the heart that was already printed there. And then, and I have not tried, but I'm assuming that you can um, color these white resin hearts with our Stampin' Blends, which is always kind of fun. I think I'll put another one right, uh, I don't know. I'll put it right here, I guess. I'm going to put a couple on the left side of the card as well. Cute, huh? Okay, let me add some embellishments to the other card as well. And I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to put three hearts in a straight line right on the edge of that heart DSP. So you can put your embellishments on randomly or you can do a pattern or um, straight line, whatever you think. I think it would have worked well there too, but um, just a little something. All right, who would like to win this cute hello card today. Let me show you the other cards I made. Again, I've used all of the same um, products and they just vary slightly based on the designer series papers I chose and how to arrange them. Let me put these here for you to see. So here's another one. So like I said, it's a good way for you to use up your scraps. You can also see that I basically um, use the same DSPs, but I changed out the background in each pair of cards. So I've got real red and Bermuda Bay backgrounds. And these last two, this one especially, I think is my favorite. There's just something about this bright yellow on there that really pops. Here's the other one. Now, um, you may have noticed that this has kind of a postage stamp edge to it. That is one of the dies that is in um, that coordinating die collection. So it actually cuts out this size rectangle with that postage stamp edge and the stitching all at once. So it's just really fun. And that's something, um, that rectangular die is something I've used with sentiments, stamping sentiments, and with other stamp sets I've been using. So I kind of like um, when you get something like that in a die set, that is versatile and you can use with lots of different things. Okay, so there is my collection of snail mail fun fold cards. And like I said, if you would like to 
win this card today, please be sure to comment and be sure to share. And I will um, draw a name for one lucky winner. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a fabulous Friday. I hope that this Funfold card has inspired you to do some creating this weekend. Uh, have a great day and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.